In the previous section, we looked at differentiating r sine of x and r cosh of x, and we got these two results. So now what we're going to do is we're going to generalize it, and we're going to differentiate these. Okay, so these are the standard forms that we need to be able to differentiate. So r sine of x over a. Now I'm going to use that result. So using the chain rule, the derivative of the inside is 1 over a. That's going to come outside. And so that's going to multiply with this, where the x is replaced with x over a. So I would have 1 over a times by 1 over the square root of x over a squared plus 1. So this is 1 over a times the square root of x squared over a squared plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that a into the square root by writing that as 1 over the square root of a squared times x squared over a squared plus 1. Because that is the same as this, square rooting the a squared, square rooting that term. And so we have 1 over the square root of a squared times this is x squared plus a squared times 1. So r shine of x over a differentiates to 1 over the square root of x squared plus a squared. Now we can do a similar thing, similar process with this one here. The derivative of the inside is 1 over a, and that's going to multiply with 1 over this where the x is replaced with x over a. Like so. So we've got 1 over a times the square root of x squared over a squared, take away 1, which is equal to 1 over, bring the a into the square root, like so. And so we've got 1 over the square root of x squared take away a squared. And so that is the derivative of r cosh of x over a.